Okay, so I am just leaving. We, me and Dozer, are just leaving the studio, and I taught my first Reiki class ever. Um, I've wanted to teach for a long time. I just didn't think I would be good at it. <laughs> but it turns out I, I did really well. I have a lot of knowledge to share. Um, so I taught the Reiki, I gave the attunement, I feel great, I'm so happy I actually did it. Um, I've, I looked this morning, because I've was like, cause i been preparing for this for a while now, um, it's been on the schedule, and I, I was like, how long have I actually been a Reiki master, or a Reiki teacher, basically? And I've been a Reiki master for 19 years. 19 years. And I've never taught. Um, and I think that's going to be something that I'm going to uh, continue doing from here on out. I, it, was, it was a good fit. I have a lot to share. <laughs> Dozer was there. She helped. And... Um, Yeah, it was just, uh, I'm really happy that I did it. Um, people have been asking me, you know, if I would do the teaching and the attunements, and I just haven't felt ready, but it just kind of all fell into place. Like, I got into a flow state, and I said yes to this, and I prepared, and um, it felt good. So, yay for that! New beginning. God, the van's a, a fucking wreck right now. There's a cemetery up there. But I love that this is at the top of this big hill. It's kind of obscure to get to. Look at these trees. Those look like really old trees. And the cemetery is an 1800 cemetery. It's so well maintained, but it's so old. I'd like to have a picnic here. So many cemeteries, they don't allow dogs. <laughs> yeah, I would totally have a picnic tea party here. Maybe I'll do that. That is a really good idea. Could also do some body work, like bring my mat up here. That sounds like a plan. Look at it, people are coming. They're, they're bringing their pennies. 1837. Farewell, my husband and my children, dear, that in this world remain the Lord of hosts, be your defense, till we shall meet again. Love it. Just a random old 1800s cemetery at the top of this hill in this it's cool now I just need to find somebody who wants body work in the cemetery this specific cemetery and have a tea tea party and a picnic with me Jackie I feel like you should be here with me letting me work on you and eating some food and drinking some tea in this cemetery Weirdos! <laughs> With these badass trees. Look at these trees, man! These are old! Love it! Such a vibe! Man, I should have brought my book. I really love natural spaces, like nature spaces, where there are no people. 
<laughs> Look at these trees. Look how big they are. I mean, what kind of trees are those, first of all? I wish I had better tree identification skills. This looks like oak, maybe? Oak leaves? I think these are oaks. Are there any tree experts watching my video? Probably not. Look how massive this tree is. How small Dozer is compared to this tree. Ooh, there's some colt's foot. Yes. And there's mullein popping up. Yes. One of my totem plants. Oh, there's some more. Oh yeah. Oh, there's some more. There's a whole bunch. There's a whole bunch. Okay, this this spot is the jam. Now. Oh. Let's see about the tick situation. I love these trees. Oh my god. Why are there only three of them? Just like right there. I don't know. Plus, this whole field on both sides of this path leading up to the cemetery is all goldenrod. I mean, there's some... Looks like there might have been some aster or some maybe but for the most part it's goldenrod it's gonna look banging in September I don't know it looks pretty dirty she wants to go so bad but there's nobody here it's so This is great. I happen upon this cemetery. Go figure. <laughs> and a pond. It's totally secluded and it just lights me up. Dozer's looking pretty poofed out too, so. I think it's lighting her up. Anything outside nature-y with very little people, preferably no people, um, <laughs> is my jam. Also, getting to see Dozer swim really just makes me so happy. It fills me with so much joy because she's filled with joy when she's swimming. I love watching her swim. If yeah. Are you happy? You look like it. It's really all that matters. So, um... I really want to start a micro bakery someday, like a little cottage bakery. And um, I think the first thing to do is to get a place that has a kitchen. <laughs> I don't have an oven in the van and I'm using my family's kitchen, which is lovely, but it's not mine. Um, but I'm really just enjoying baking. I've always really liked baking, but I fell out of it for several years and now I'm rediscovering it. And um, I am infusing all of my baked goods with Reiki energy and 
it's just I love it I'm having so much fun I'm really enjoying it <laughs> and um, so yeah just raking energizing everything it's um, comes quite naturally so yeah I've also really been enjoying making um, cavatelles my grandma's recipe and <laughs> you make it all by from scratch and um, in my cottage bakery I also want to have fresh pasta my family is very Italian so this feels right to me but um, yeah I'm 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 infusing the pasta with Reiki as well. I'm just infusing everything with Reiki. Um, 